Hey friends, welcome back to my channel for another Christmas themed video. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys some stocking stuffer ideas for your kids. So if you have littles in the room and you don't want them to hear about stocking stuffer ideas, you might ask them to leave. That's a little... Um, but I have kids, four of them if you're new, and they are ages 14, 13, 11, and 9 right now. Um, two girls and two boys. And so today I wanted to share with you guys what I think would be some really fun ideas to put in your kids' stockings. And so the first thing I want to tell you is that I think a plan for stockings is a good idea. Uh, I like to come up with a plan for each one. So what I have decided on for stockings this year is including a pack of gum, one book, one like hair or personal type product, one toy, like a small one, and then a clothing item. So that is my plan and that should fill up um, my kids' stockings. Um, I do want to say that the book that I got for my oldest son is an audiobook. He's really been enjoying audiobooks for these Star Wars books my husband read as a kid. They're like huge books and he likes listening to them on Audible. So rather than buying him a physical copy, I am going to include a note that we've gotten him two book credits on Audible. So just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, so we will start with my oldest daughter and I will go oldest to youngest and I'm going to have to reach over to the side to show you guys um, what is in her um or what is going to be in her stocking so the first thing is her clothing item i know it might seem funny to buy swimwear in uh winter but we travel a lot so she is always in need of a swimsuit and she surfs and paddle boards and boogie boards and so by the end of the summer her bathing suits were absolutely destroyed also she it fits in adult women's clothing now and so her bathing suits are a lot more expensive and also i am picky about what swimsuits i allow her to wear they need to you know be appropriate in my opinion and so i can't really find them at like target or places like that anymore so you guys always ask like where I like to get my oldest daughter who is a teenager, she's gonna be 15 in the spring, her swimsuits. And I like to get them from a store called Pink Desert. They are modest, but so stylish and cute. I know she's gonna be obsessed. And anyway, they're really expensive. So this one I got on sale. So it is a super cute daisy one piece and it has this zipper thing which I know she's gonna like because it kind of gives it like that surfer look. So she's gonna love her swimsuit and so I got that on sale for her to um, have in her stocking. Now her personal or hair care item uh, is this good chemistry roller um, perfume. Uh, thing it's made from essential oils and so it's not like a harmful um, fragrance and it smells so good I love mine that I have I actually have uh, the spray version but I got her the roller and I know she's gonna like that she doesn't have she's not really we don't do like sprays and fragrant lotions and stuff so she's not really like into that I remember being really into that when I was a teenager she's she likes stuff like that, but I think she's going to really like having this. And so that's her personal item. The book that I got her is this, The Hiding Place. It's about Corey Ten Boom. And um, yeah, she's very interested in this time period. And uh, this story is incredible. And so I got her this book and I know she's going to love it. Keep in mind, she is turning 15. So the subject matter in here is fine. Um, then this is super cute. This is like a little pencil case and it is Star Wars themed. She's going to be obsessed. She's an artist. And so wherever we go, she always has pencils and whatnot with her. And so it's a, it has like a little pouch and then you can even put 
some things beneath it. So I'm going to put that into her stocking. And then a uh, family favorite Dots pretzels. I get these small bags on Amazon. You cannot find these in the store anywhere near me in my whole city. So I did order these on Amazon. They come in a pack of three. So I had to get two packs to get four kids, but that's okay because then I was able to give them their favorite flavors. But these are like a hot commodity in my house because they're like five or six dollars a bag and my kids will eat a whole bag in one sitting like the big bag so this will be like such a special thing and then i got her her pack of gum so that is everything that will be in my oldest daughter's stocking now moving on to my son who is 13 you guys i like doing the theme thing because it helps me stay organized and on task and not buy stuff because I'm like, oh wait, did I get that? Did Is that enough? Um, I don't do dollar amount, I just do items. So that's just the way it, the way it works out. Uh, so for his clothing item, I got him this uh, sweatshirt. I don't wanna completely unfold it, but it's Hogwarts. He loves um, the Harry Potter series. And so I got him this hoodie. He also loves hoodies. Uh, and then he got the same um, pencil case as my oldest daughter. We're going to Disney World in January. And so like all the Disney things for the flight will be super fun and appreciated by them. Um, for his pretzel item, I got him the honey mustard ones. Those are his flavor. He got the same packet of gum. His hair product, he loves this Suavecito pomade. I get it off of Amazon. They sell it in a few different places, but if your boys have like a comb over hairstyle, this is like the best stuff. And my brother, so his uncle actually told him about it and he's obsessed. So I got him a thing of that. It's kind of expensive, like $13. So a good Christmas thing. And then my husband is a huge Star Wars fan, always has been. And, um, Anyway, long story, he gave all of his collector figures to our boys when they were young. They didn't understand the value in collector figures, so they opened the packages like when he told them not to. And anyway, so he got uh, my son, like I think a replacement, cause this is like an old vintage one of one of his most favorite as kind of like a joke. I think I could be wrong. Maybe I should have asked my husband, but anyway, this is his toy item that is going in his stocking. And then his book is the audible credit for the Star Wars uh, books that he's been enjoying listening to. Now my next kiddo is 11. He is a boy and he likes a lot of the same things as his brother, um, but I do have some different things. So for him, he, I got him this um, t-shirt. It says Gryffindor on it and they just like the books. There's nothing more serious than that. So save those comments if you're if they're welling up inside you um the next thing is the honey mustard flavor of dots pretzels he got the same gum he got a few books um because they were sold in a series and i didn't know that so this is a series of three books i got these off of amazon i will link everything that i can for you guys down below um but it's a history beginning to end hourly history and i guess the theory is that you could read these in about an hour so he is a historian through and through my 11 year old so we have lexington and concord battle of bunker hill and the boston massacre and then he also um has read all of these I Survive books about a hundred times, but we've never been able to find this one at the library. So this was on his list. So I got him, this was sold in a pack, so that's why there's three, but oh well. Um, so these are his books. Then his pencil case item is super cute, and it's this one here. Um, and they, this one actually opens up and stands up so you can kind of set it on a desk or something. So just a little different of a style there. And then his toy item, I didn't finish taking it out of the package, but I'll show you guys. I can do that now. It is this, if you're a Star Wars fan, I may ruin it for you right now. I believe this is a land speeder. <laughs> 
and we have Grogu here, and we have some kind of droid here, and we have something in here. So anyway, this is all gonna get taken out and put into his stocking for his toy item. Now my youngest daughter, she's nine, she'll be 10 by Christmas, and so what I have for her is her clothing item. She has been requesting workout leggings, um, because you know that's what I wear and she still very much wants to be like me so I got her these camo ones from Old Navy I think she's gonna love them so that's her uh, clothing item her book here is this Elizabeth Elliot do the next right thing we've been listening to her podcast and reading we've read about her time and time again but um, we continue to talk about her so this is the trailblazers book on her she has her pack of gum here and she has her pencil case which is the same as my other son and then um we have her uh pretzels here now i did not get her a hair item as you can see or like a personal item like i got my oldest daughter that perfume roller ball so that is the only thing i am missing um, I'm not sure what I'm going to get her for that, but that'll be the last thing that I need to get to kind of even it all out. Um, and maybe a toy now that I'm seeing things. See, this is why I make these videos. <laughs> so I'll need to get her a toy item and a hair product, but hopefully that even without seeing those last two little things. Um, that gives you some ideas of what you might put in your kids' stockings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up before you go. I will leave the links to everything that I can for you down below. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here, let me know. Leave it in a comment here. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying getting ready for Christmas. And I will see you all in my next video really soon. Bye, guys.